Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna to be doing something a little different on this channel. Usually I save my hauls and subscription boxes and stuff like that for my review channel. But I've had this Timu haul for a while now and I thought I'd share it with you guys over here. My Harry Potter haul of items I found at Timu. And I'll share with you how much I paid for them. Do keep in mind that when you shop on Timu, the prices change quite frequently. They oftentimes have lightning sales for a few days where things are really, really cheap and then they'll go back up to their normal prices. So keep checking back to the app. At least from what I've seen, most people have not shared these types of products, like fandom type products. And if you see all my Taylor Swift behind me, like I love fandom type products. That is like, my vibe and harry potter is one of the fandoms that i really really love and so it was really fun finding all of these neat harry potter things on timu for a decent price okay i do have a wand and look at how big this wand is this is actually hermione's wand it's not one that i had before in my harry potter subscription boxes i'll often get like harry's wand or just a wizarding world themed one not specific to a person but i really wanted to get hermione's when i saw it and i gotta say not only am I impressed that they put it in this nice velvety pouch here, the detailing on the wand itself is so good and the wand is pretty heavy. It's definitely not made out of plastic and you can see all the vines. I'll try to show you a picture as up close as possible so you can see all of the vines crawling up Hermione's wand and it's actually a pretty really long wand. Probably accurate to how long her wand is in the book. Super excited about this. They have other wands that were there. Let me see if I can get the price for you. So this wand was only $13.89 when I bought it. It was listed under party wand set for cosplay Hermione Granger just in case you want to search it for yourself. I don't have a stand or anything to put my wands on. I haven't gotten that far in my collection as far as displaying a lot of the Harry Potter stuff I've gotten in these boxes, which I probably should, so we'd get them out of their boxes and out of the drawers. I just don't know where to put that yet in my house, and maybe that could be a future video over here on this channel where I decorate a space and have it be my Harry Potter themed like wall. Okay, next item is a shirt. Says the Leaky Cauldron, if you know, you know. I do like the little splotches all over it. You see the cauldron on the front, Diagon Alley, London, all very classic Harry Potter. Like what's cool about it is that the place Leaky Cauldron could have actually potentially sold shirts. You know, it seems like every main business sells their own type of shirt with their brand on it nowadays. The material of the shirt, I'm not sure what it is. It does not feel like just cotton. It's gotta be some kind of mix of materials. That's the only thing I really don't like about Timu in their clothing is they do not always share with you the fabric that's used. And sometimes it can be like that stretchy, spandexy material. Sometimes it is cotton, sometimes it's not. In fact, there's another shirt that I got that I had already pulled out because I'd already previously tried to film this, um, <laughs> this haul before my footage got lost when my computer crashed. And that one, I will show you a picture of what it looks like. This shirt I got for $7.49, which is an excellent price for a shirt. The other shirt that I got, it says Mom Manager of Mischief, and that one was a cotton type shirt, and that one was $9.49, which is still a really good price for a t-shirt. Really excited about the kind of clothes that you can find there. I will say I had to dig deep to find these Harry Potter items back when Timu was first launched. It may have gotten a little easier since then. I don't know how their algorithm works now. And I also know they probably can't list things specifically as Harry Potter if there's like copyright issues. So I don't know about all that. I just know that it took me a while to find all the items that I did find for this haul. If you want to take the time to scroll through and look for them, you can find stuff that's really good, probably for almost any fandom. Next item. I have a diamond art painting. I have not tried one of these. I've received one, maybe two, in my subscription boxes over on my review channel. And I gave one to Azalee to do with a Little Mermaid, and I don't think she's finished it yet. She worked on it for a while, but they do, I think they do take a little bit of time to do. And then the design of this one looks like this. So it has Hogwarts and all the houses. You can see the snake for Slytherin, the lion for Gryffindor, the badger for Hufflepuff, and the raven for Ravenclaw. All of them are on here. I love how it's mostly black and then you see the colors all the way around it. It's got a pretty cool effect. 
And then of course it does come with all of the little diamonds or little beads that you're gonna need, as well as this little toolkit to get them on there secure. Anyone who likes arts and projects, they have all kinds of diamond art paintings on there, not just Harry Potter themed, not just Little Mermaid themed, but a lot of different variety. So if you like diamond paintings, this could be a great place to get them. And it did not cost very much to get it. It was $3.99 for this diamond painting. Next, we have a pair of socks that are Harry Potter themed. They do feel like a nice, thick pair of socks. I love the color blue. And one of them says, Dobby is free. Again, if you know, you know. <laughs> Dobby being presented a sock so that he could be free. And this one is, Master has given Dobby a sock. Dobby is free. That was such a great moment in the movies, also in the books, but I still remember it mostly from the movies. I've only read the books all the way through one time. I just completed that earlier this year, um, and I have not talked about all the things I wanna talk about it. I still need to figure out a time and way to like try to have a conversation with everybody that wants to have one about you know, the Harry Potter books. I do recommend reading them. If you have not read them yet and you've only seen the movies, the books are so much better. There's so much more detail. There's so many more subplots and other things that happen that just can't be shared in the time frame of a movie. I am really, really excited that they're coming out with a TV show and they've already guaranteed 10 seasons because I feel like that is what's needed. You know, it'll be better if the seasons are long, you know, 24 episode seasons instead of 12. But with it being on HBO or what is now just called Max, I think. It's possible it could just be like short seasons, 10 short seasons, so we'll have to see. We'll have to see how they're gonna be able to fit everything in there, but I do expect more detail to go into those TV shows than what was able to be in the movies. The movies were still done really great. I still feel like they completed the story for the most part. Just a couple more things. This is another diamond art painting, obviously. Oh, I did not share the price of the socks. The socks were only $1.79, which is great for one pair. And then we have this diamond painting, which was also $3.99, and it does look different. Again, we'll have the beads in the little tray to help you complete it. But this one has Harry's glasses, Hedwig, a book, a candle. So it's a completely different scene, but still very much Hogwarts related. I don't know when I'm gonna set aside the time to do it, but I still wanna try diamond painting. It looks very relaxing to just sit there and maybe work on that while you watch something or you're doing something else. Just something to do a little artistic. All right, um, the last thing that I have in my box is a platform nine and three quarters sign. And this sign actually cost me $17.48. It was the most expensive thing that I bought in my entire haul, but it has the platform nine and three quarters. It does have a space for batteries, so you can actually light this part up. And what's cool is that uh, one of the teachers at the school where I work, she has a completely decorated Harry Potter themed classroom. It looks so amazing. She's got all of the houses represented it, and she actually has a sign very similar to this one, if not the exact same sign, hanging outside her door. So they get to come in to platform nine and three quarters to enter their Harry Potter room. It was really pretty. I wish that I could share pictures with you guys of what the classroom looked like, but on one section, you know, because of its elementary school, we always have the little book section um, usually where kids can sit and read. There's like a little library within the classroom that's the teacher's own personal books for that room. She like decorated that as a forest as if in Harry Potter. And then it like goes all the way up to the ceiling and encompasses the room. Like honestly, like it's my favorite classroom in the whole school. To properly hang this sign, they do give you things that you need, like the hanging bits and this, which is actually metal nice and sturdy and it has four different ways that you can hang it so if you want to hang it this way you can she has it hanging this way on hers because this is up against the wall if you need it to be this way you can and if you wanted to hang it in the back you could or even if you wanted to face it this way it gives you all of the options that you need to have this really cool sign slash light hanging up in decor somewhere in your house or your classroom or anywhere. Um, this will definitely be something that I put on a Harry Potter specific wall that I was talking about earlier that we can decorate together. 
I don't know when I'll be able to get around to do that, but I do have a lot of Harry Potter stuff to put on display. A couple of things that are inside this box, because remember I told you that I had previously filmed this and the video footage got lost. But this is the Nimbus, I believe it's the Nimbus 2000, maybe even the Firebolt actually. I think it's the Firebolt necklace. I'll have to post a picture of it because it's too small for the camera to picture up all the details. And this was only 98 cents on at Timu. Like that's it, 98 cents for this cool looking jewelry. Now is it like the most delicate, most intricately designed piece of jewelry ever? No, but it's a dollar. So for a dollar, you can wear a Firebolt around your neck. The other small thing that I have in here is the chocolate frog keychain, which I actually need to put on my keychains because I love the chocolate frog. One, I just love everything chocolate, but the chocolate frog is really cute. And I actually have a chocolate frog purse that came from a different subscription box and I can put my keychain on there and I have an actual chocolate frog stuffed animal that came in another box. So I have lots of chocolate frog things. I have not tried a chocolate frog, although I know you can get them at some candy shops. You can get an actual chocolate frog in a chocolate frog box. I think there's one in our mall. I might have to check it out later because I know me and my son Jacob usually enjoy the treats that they have there. And that keychain was $2.48. So it costs more than the necklace, but it does have two different parts and there's a lot more detailing on it than just a simple solid color. Um, and then the frog itself right here is very soft. It's not too squishy, but it's not metal. All right, I think that's pretty much everything from my haul. Jacob! Yeah? Do you still have the golden snitch? So the last thing I have is actually a golden snitch fidget, which I gave to my son, Jacob. Come say hi. Hello. They can't see you. Dip, dip your head. Hello. <laughs> He was just saying that he uses this a lot and it's just a really cute little golden snitch, little fidget thing for him to fidget with. Take it to school and fidget if you need to fidget with it. I know a lot of teachers are accepting of those things now. And this little golden snitch was $3.98. It is heavy, so it's not a light golden snitch. I don't know what material it's made out of, but definitely metal, it's not plastic. I mean, the fact that it's heavier makes it better for a fidget because it's gonna spin longer because momentum and all that. Yeah. I'd rather use that than my phone. This is literally just pick it, spin, look. Yeah, we'll see. He likes it more than his phone. All right, you can take it back. Go work on your hurricane project. You can take your fidget with you. But that was it for my Harry Potter haul here from TV. If you liked any of these items, I will try to list I don't know that I'll be able to find the links to them. It's not something that Timu has like really set up yet. I'll try it again to see if they have changed that we're allowed to share. Before in the past, we couldn't really share a specific link to a product. And then keep in mind that these products by now could have been sold out, the prices could have changed. All of that happens frequently at Timu. It's been a very popular site, a very popular store as what, since the past couple of months. And this haul is pretty old. It is something that I initially filmed, I think way back in April and lost footage of. So I just wanted to share, I think it'd be fun. And then in a future video, I can post a Harry Potter decorating room. And I think that that would go nicely on this channel. So let me know your thoughts. Please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I will be back soon, hopefully soon, <laughs> with another video. Bye everyone.